what's what's becoming a lot more special to me as I wind my career down is my son is getting very competitive and uh, I just lucky up at the last one at Pinoka there I just beat him by one one hundredth of a second you know just uh, just my horse was in stride and his was down and he was actually ahead of me at the wire and uh, out of some fate or whatever it is I ended up winning that in the photo and uh, you know he's uh, he's been very tough the last few years so that makes me extremely proud and that's that's actually where I want him to be I'd uh, I'd like him to try and beat me and uh, if he gets the job done I'll shake his hand It's uh, 917 with Forbes and Friends, and Jerry's got a special guest. Well, look what the wind blew in. If it ain't old Mark Sutherland. How are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. How is the chuck wagon going? Well, it's going good. You know, we're getting ready for the biggest show, so that makes me feel good. Chuck wagon racing isn't, you know, it's not big enough that the guys are independently wealthy from it. So. You know, I've got a winter job, and I work at community relations within Canada, and it's, you know, it fits nicely with my pastime, other career, truck wagon racing. There's, there's only one champion, and you know, that's what everyone saw. You know, in Panoka, I was one one hundredth away from a fifty thousand dollar payday. You know, and instead, I, I didn't get it. So, you know, you got to have money somewhere, and some of it comes from corporate sponsorship, but a lot of it comes from your winter work. It's CJ92 this morning. Of course, Forbes. He's always fun. And we're kind of like traveling gypsies. We go from show to show looking for a place to race and um, had a couple, you know, what would be perceived as days off. In reality, we had a couple days to, to haul everything, you know, back to Calgary and, and into, into the ground. So. Two guys and and, uh, and the new girl was in yesterday getting stalls ready and you know planning and doing things and getting straw and getting hay and getting oats and um, dealing with the uh, you know the the uh, increased media attention and uh, sponsor corporate sponsor you know obligations that type of stuff it's it's really really a busy time for us and uh, but that's what makes it so great you know it's stampede. 